In today's After Effects video, we're gonna create a volumetric intro. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So this intro has a legitimate purpose for me in the sense that this title is the title card for our new upcoming short film called Hope, which is coming out tomorrow. There's gonna be no teaser trailer or any other updates because we don't wanna give away the film. So this is the only promotion that we have. So be sure to check out our new short film tomorrow. It'll be right here on the channel. But in the meantime, I wanna talk about creating this volumetric intro, whether it's for a logo or just titles. I broke it down into three easy steps because it might look like there's a lot of elements into this, but it's really easy. And the three easy steps are broken down into the title design, the assets needed to create this scene, and lastly, the animation. So let's go ahead and start this and let's jump into the title design. Okay, so here we are inside of After Effects and this is what we'll be creating. Let's go over to our main composition and we already have our title. So whether you wanna work with a title or a logo, you're gonna to wanna to drop it into your composition right now. And then when you have it ready to go, click on your title or logo, go up to layer pre-compose and name this placeholder and click okay. And the reason why we created a placeholder is so now you can come in here and make any adjustments without affecting the rest of the composition. So back in our main composition, what we're gonna do is go to edit duplicate so now we want to add a texture to our title and I'll drop this texture. The link will be in the description. And what we'll do is we'll drag the texture right underneath our bottom placeholder here. So boom right there. And we'll toggle switch the modes until we see the track mat and set the texture to alpha mat. And we can turn off the top placeholder real quick. So there is our texture and we'll hit S on keyboard for scale and we'll scale our texture way down so we can see all those fine details. And from here we'll add effect stylize CC repeat tile and we'll expand the right all the way to cover up our title and expand the left to cover up the rest of our title. So this is a good way to reuse your texture so you don't have any pixelization. When you're done here, grab all your layers, pre-compose it, and we'll name it placeholder textured and click OK. And now we'll go to effect generate and we'll add CC light sweep. And from here, what we'll do is add a keyframe for center and we'll move forward here to like say six seconds and we can grab this little anchor point and we can move the light sweep over and we can increase the width if we want and we can increase the sweep intensity and this will create a nice little you know, light sweep here. And then we can add the effect again and we can maybe create another one going into the right direction. So we'll add a keyframe for centered at the beginning of our composition. Go to six seconds and we'll just move this one over to the side, increase the width and also the sweep intensity. So now you should have something like this. And now we'll bring out this title even more, go to effect perspective and we're going to add bevel alpha and that's it go back to effect perspective and we'll add drop shadow from here we'll increase the opacity by a little bit here maybe to 80 percent increase the distance just by a touch and increase the softness by a little bit as well maybe bring the distance down to 10 and then from here we'll duplicate our drop shadow and then we'll increase the softness to about 60 and this will stand out really good against any background that we add. So there is our title design with a good texture. Now let's talk about creating the rest of the scene with all the assets that we need. All the assets we're using in this video are absolutely free, so you can go ahead and check the link in the description and you can download them for free. So now we'll set the rest of our scene and I have a background here that will bring it right into our composition. And remember, you can download this background, the link's in the description, and I'm just gonna scale this down. And that looks really good and our effects here, the bevel alpha and the drop shadows makes our title stand out really well from the background. Now let's go ahead and add some of those other awesome elements that you can download as well. So the first element we're gonna grab here is the volumetric light asset that I'm using. The link will be in the video description, absolutely free. And here's this beam of light and there's a, and there's a pack of 12 of these from premium beat. And we're gonna bring 04 beam kit into our main comp here. Drop it right on top of everything. So first things first, we wanna scale this down and then we'll go to blend mode and set this to hard light. And we can scrub through forward here and you can see that there's this beam of light that's gonna be revealing on our title and actually anything that's underneath uh, this layer. So in the meantime, we go to effect color correction tint and this will just make everything black and white looks great. We'll leave it at that for now. And now we want to add some other assets in here to really make our scene come to the next level. So also in that download with the volumetric light, you can download the subtle dust pack that we have here that we'll just add right into uh, our composition right above our beam kit. Set the blend mode to screen and we can scale this down, fit our composition. And if we want, we can duplicate this and go to layer, transform, and we can flip horizontal and layer, transform, flip vertical. So now we have two layers of dust in here for absolutely free. 
And now we'll add some atmosphere and some fog in here. And this is absolutely free. The link's in the video description to download these assets. There's a pack of, I think, 18 of these. And we'll drag this right underneath our title. And then we'll set the blend mode to screen. And of course, make sure to scale these assets down because they are 4K. And now that fog is way more noticeable. And if you want to be able to see more of your title or logo when you're using these volumetric light and dust, uh, what you can do is go to that volumetric light layer, hit tier and keyboard for opacity, and we can actually keyframe this a little bit. So we can add a keyframe for opacity, move forwards by a few frames, and we can actually just lower the opacity of the light, and this will allow us to see more of our scene. So you can see we take down the opacity, you can see a lot of the scene, but if we keep it down, say 92% or so, it'll just reveal it enough to actually make out the letters on the screen. So to help stylize the scene, what we can do is go to layer, new adjustment layer, and then we'll go to effect color correction curves, and we'll come here to the red channel. We'll bring down the red channel by a touch. Go to the green channel. We can bring this down by a little bit as well. We'll go to the blue channel and we can, you know, maybe pop this to be more in the blue direction. And then we go to like RGB and create like a nice little S curve here to help create a little bit more contrast in the scene. Go and then make sure you go to effect noise and grain and you add noise. And set this to about like 4%, maybe 6%, depending on how much you want to do. Uh, and then uncheck use color noise and this will help blend everything nicely together and if you want to add say a quick lens flare to this you can do that if you would want to but it's completely up to you creating really good intros and title scenes can be a lot of fun but they do require a lot of attention to detail and can take a lot of time so all the previews you're seeing right now are after effects templates from video hive and these are pre-made after effects templates where you can swap in your logo swap in the text and render out your project within a few minutes all these templates are professionally made and made to help you save a ton of time so whether you need to save time or you're looking for some inspiration for your intro or title sequence, go ahead and check our links in the video description and it'll take you right to these previews. So the design of our scene is already set up and there's already a lot of movement and elements into the scene. So the animation part is gonna be really easy. We're gonna do something very subtle. All right, and for the last part, we obviously wanna create a little bit of animation. This is very easy to do. Go to layer, new, null object. And what we'll do is we'll grab all of our layers except for the null object and parent everything to the null object. And we'll go to the beginning of our timeline, hit Aster and keyboard for scale. Add a keyframe for it, move to the end of our composition, and we can scale forward just by a touch, maybe to like 105. And then make sure to turn on motion blur for all your layers and turn it on at the top. And if you wanna swap out your title, add a logo, you can do that right now. And after a quick render, here's what we have. So that's how you can create a nice volumetric intro in three easy steps. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Sunduck Film. We post two post-production tutorials every week right here. Also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creating.